Hello everybody, this is Brian Garfin from Oceanside, California. Um, today, the day started off uh, with a marine layer, uh, but I wasn't sure if it was going to sprinkle or not, but it didn't. It cleared up and, and the weather out warmed up a lot and it, it's really beautiful out here today. Nice little breeze about a few miles away from the ocean. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about render, but before I do that, and I'm going to talk about its advantages and possibilities. and. Um, before I do that, I need to read you my standard uh, legal disclaimer. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Uh, this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Um, all of us, including myself, are responsible for our own investment decisions. Now, with all that being said, let's get started. Um, Render is a big AI and deep in play. AI, of course, you guys already know, it stands for artificial intelligence. And DPIN stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. So in case you don't already know, that's what it stands for. AI and DPIN are going to be two of the most powerful narratives in this bull run. So over the next two to four years, th this is going to be a very powerful narrative. Um, I think Render is about to shock the world. Um, the, AI the AI market in crypto uh, will reach uh, trillions in value in AI and DPIN is a combination, you know, working together with like they are in this particular render project is a match made in heaven. Um, right now, render is so far ahead of the competition and their product is being used in the real world. Okay, uh, let me let me kind of tell you a little bit about the old version of render and the new version of render and what's going on. So you can keep up to date. So if you do end up purchasing render, you purchase the right version. Um, the old version of render uh, is Ethereum based and it had a tickle, ticker symbol of RNDR and it, it's now moving to the Solana blockchain and, it, and it's going to be using the new s s uh, ticker symbol RENDER. So there's, there's a difference between the two. They're the same company, but it, it, they're migrating toward RENDER. In that I believe in September is when they're going to start really wanting you to shift over to render. It's a little early for that now, but if, but if you're going to buy it, you should buy the new version. I would not recommend buying the old version. Um, and if you have the old version, you could switch. You could easily switch it over. Most most um, like Coinbase offers both versions, and it's real easy to do a switch. It takes like a few minutes. Um, so I believe you have until September to migrate from the old version to the new version, like I just mentioned. And if you're on a large exchange, there's a possibility the migration can happen automatically, but I wouldn't count on it. I would be proactive and just do it yourself. Um, that's just my, my opinion. That's what I did. I'm actually using right now, the, well, I had the old version of Render, RNDR, um, and I use it on a, I, I have a membership in the plan, which I've mentioned on a, several other videos. And I'm you, I'm actually trading on it with with a crypto auto bot, and through my membership in the plan. And um, I want the new version as quick as possible, and I didn't really want to procrastinate, so I did the migration. I think Friday is when I did the migration. So what I had to do is I had to stop the auto bot, um, and then I had to basically transfer everything to um, from RNDR to Render, and then I restarted my auto bot. And, um, I, well, at, well, actually, after doing the transfer, I had to make a buy um, from the what I transferred from RNDR to RENDER. I had to make a buy, and then I had to um, restart the auto bot. So all my balance is in RENDER now. So that, that I, so if you use an auto bot, you got to take that extra step. So, so Render launched, uh, the re Render launch was conceived in, the token started in 2009 by OTOY Incorporated, a toy. Um, and, and, and this company is actually the definitive cloud graphics company. It actually uh, it actually was one of the first ones that ever came uh, up with the idea of cloud, uh, you know, using cloud graphics um, on the blockchain. So the conception of Render evolved right after Bitcoin launched in, in January uh, 29. That's when the idea was actually conceived, is right after the Bitcoin launch. However, a private Render launch happened in 2017. So, so this company has been had this on their mind since almost the beginning of crypto. But they finally launched in 2017, and, and their private launch was very successful. They had, um, and so later in April 2020, a few years later, 
they went on to have a public launch and that was also massively successful. So I'm gonna talk about the founder. Um, the CEO of a toy is also the, the, the founder of Render and his name is Jules, J-U-L-E-S, Urbach, U-R-B-A-C-H. And um, so Render is basically, it, it's, it's, a, it's a rendering software that uses, used to use the, well, it's using the Ethereum blockchain for distributed cloud rendering of digital assets and special effects. But remember the, the transition from R&DR to R-E-N-D-E-R, which they're doing right now and the company wants everyone to switch, um, Render, R-E-N-D-E-R, is using the Solana blockchain. So I wanted to make that clear, there is a difference. Um, so they're using a whole different blockchain. So Solana has its uses. You know, everybody thinks, oh, Solana is just a bunch a blockchain for a bunch of meme coins. No, it has some good projects on it. And that's why I'll always hold a bag of Solana and I'll always hold a bag of ETH because they both have their um, place in the crypto universe, so to speak. Um, so Render is a pioneer in computer graphics, streaming, and three-dimensional rendering. Um, with the pro with this project has more than 25 years of industry experience behind it. So so this is not a this is not a brand new company. This is a veteran company that's been around a while. And it's got a little bit of a high market cap, but it, it doesn't bother me at all. And, and I still own a decent bag, and I'm going to go into that a little later. But now let's go on to trending. Like Render is currently trending bullish uh, with a 50-day day moving average currently sloping up. And also their 200-day moving average is also sloping up. So basically, they, they've had a, a strong uptrend for quite a while here. Um, and let's I want to talk about their partnerships. I actually have a few partnerships to talk about, but I'm going to talk about one first. Apple is coming out with a new iPad Pro with the world's most advanced uh, display and, and an M4 chip, which is basically an AI chip, um, and the Apple Pencil Pro. Apple presented Octane X, which is rendering software powered by Render, um, as the pro uh, rendering app um, on this new iPad. So, so they're they're collaborating with Apple, and they have um, and, and and Octane X is the project, and, and Render is all over this project. I mean, all the bread come all the bread come crumbs, if I could say it right, point back to Render. So now this is huge. I mean, this is real world adoption on a mass scale. And, and although this project hasn't come to fruition yet, what do you think is going to happen to the price of render when just this one project comes to fruition? It's going to go bonkers. It's going to go up. Um, now, you could see the render logo on the new Apple video they created promoting this. You could see it at the top left and even in the cherry. They have a little cherry in the middle of the the um, in the video, and, and you can actually see the, re the render app there, or you can see it on the upper left of the video as well. Um, so uh, Octane X is a software uh, powered by the Render Network. So the Render Network is powering the Octane X project. Apple users can augment this massive increase in rendering power with unlimited high performance and decentralized GPU compute power using Octane X and the Render Network. Um, now from now on, every time Apple talks about Octane X, I, I want you to think of Render. Because you might hear about it in the real world, you could hear it in the TV commercial, who knows where you're going to hear it, you know, on a billboard or whatever. Um, Re Render is the best rendering software in the world because they, they've been in the business from day one. I mean, and, and they've had many years to improve it. So this isn't a beginner project, so you're not getting into some, you know, $20 million uh, market cap project hoping in seven years it'll get to where it is now, right? It's already there. Um, and the development company... Uh, a toy made sure of this, UTOY. It's, UTOY Incorporated is the name of the company that basically developed the render software and, and Jules Ur Urbach. Um, so the M4 iPad and M4 AI chip, which I think the M4 AI chip might have been made by NVIDIA, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, but it'll end up being a super energy efficient node on the net render network. See, whenever a render does a big collaboration with a company or whatever, that's a node on their network, right? And they have a, that's not their only node. They're going to be a bigger company than that because they're going to be working with other companies. I'm going to get around to explaining those very shortly. Render will handle the most demanding pro apps and, and, it, and it'll give you jaw dropping uh, brightness. So the, 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 when it comes to graphics and, and, and rendering, they're, they're the best. I mean, the name says it, render. 
um, when, when this happens, it would be one of the biggest updates in crypto in general. Um, there's not a lot, I mean, there's, there's some good stuff going on in crypto, but I think based on their collaboration with some of the biggest companies in the world, this is one of the best. Um, now I'm gonna talk about how parabolic render can be, which I've already kind of hinted to you that it already was, but I feel that render can go parabolic in the coming months. Right now, and I'm talking here, right here in 2024, Right now, we're in a market dip, and this would be a good time to purchase some render. Um, this isn't financial advice. I'm just go I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. Um, at the time of this video, the price of one render token is uh, $10.96, so just shy of $11. Um, now, let's go over some tokenomics. Uh, so, so some ba Right now, it has a $4.2 billion market cap. Now, that seems high, but I'm gonna, in a little a little more to this video, I'm gonna tell you why it's not high at all. Um, there's there's no reason in the world why this can't be a $150 uh, billion market cap company based on their use case. And they're almost 2% market dominance. Um, and like I just mentioned, it's $10.93 uh, uh, per render token. Um, or to, it was 10.96 when I wrote about a paragraph later and now it's 1093 but you know what i mean it's in that range um right now they have 214 million in total volume and 532 million in total supply and they have a, a max supply of 536 million tokens um so you know their their total supply of 532 isn't is very very close to having the max supply of 536 million so they're almost maxed out which means that's also going to drive the price up once it reaches its max. It's going to cause a supply shock and the, and the price is just going to go up by proxy. Okay, so since Render is such a unique project, we could see a 2% market dominance like I just mentioned. And it could hit a $70 billion market cap easy, but I think it could go a lot higher than that. because And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go into some other joint ventures it has with some other very large companies and you're going to understand what I'm saying. Um, if they accomplish the majority of their objectives, the market cap could be much higher. Major user demand uh, could get us there easy. Um, you got to understand, you know, there's just billions of people in the world. And a as things become mass adopted over time, just in general, the market cap of not only render, but crypto in general will go up and the render is going to go right alongside it. And if they have a stronger use case than a lot of these other coins, which I believe they do, render is even going to go up faster. Um, that's why I consider this one going to be one of my heavy plays. Right now, it's a standard play where I, I think I have like twenty two dollars, twenty two hundred and fiat allocated to it. But I'm I don't remember exactly how many coins because it's in a trading bot. So it you know when you do I don't know if you know how uh, automatic trading bots work, but what you have a standard allocation of crypto and then it balances with uh, U.S. dollars, so it just makes trades on that on the thing on the on the coin pair all day long and it gives you a positive balance in uh, bot profits basically um so so let's talk about the community uh render right now has a very strong uh, community they're averaging 2.7 million daily interactions across various social media platforms and they're very active on reddit twitter facebook and youtube um, and I'm sure they probably have a TikTok and some other account and a maybe even have a Discord and a Telegram account, but I, I can't confirm that. I'm not sure of that, but I'm sure if you research it, you can find out. Um, now I'm going to give you a conclusion. This is going to be a long conclusion, but I'm going to give you a conclusion to render and, and it, that'll give you a really good idea of, of why I think this coin by 2030 can probably 30x without any real problems. Um, their parent company, a toy is founded by uh, Jules Erbach, um, who allowed Render to bootstrap themselves on the fast track to success. Um, if they weren't backed by a company like that and, and they had to build the blockchain from uh, scratch, it would take a lot longer to, uh, to, to get these kind of um, you, you know big companies backing them. And, and you either have them or you don't. Think about a company like Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA. How many companies are like that out there? If you don't get, if you're not the one to get a hold of those companies, you're just not going to have the market share. It's that simple. I mean, you you might do okay as a business, but you're not. But you might get some mid-level companies and some others, but you're not. There's only one of those, and if you you either get them or you don't, right? So, because of Jules' involvement, this project will 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 be mass adopted and used in the real world much faster than creating a brand new blockchain, making people feel like this is something new and special. 
and going out and creating these connections. I mean, I mean that's just common sense. I mean, it, it, if you had a company that worked with uh, Nvidia, Microsoft, Apple, and Google, um, it, 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 you're just going to blow the top off it. And, and these collaborations aren't complete yet, but they're on the on the way. And I have, you know, I have some digital proof of that through some of my research. Now, connections, you know, as you already know, they take a long time to perform, especially on, on the level of Microsoft and Google and companies like that. But Jules already has these connections, so renders position for, for this type of success much sooner. They're partnering with Apple, Google, Microsoft, uh, UFC, Netflix, Paramount, Star Wars, HBO, NVIDIA, Omniverse, and Unity. Okay, so these are some of the companies that they're partnering with. Um, what, now, what's coming down the pike is much bigger than what pe most people expect. To most people, including myself, are slipping on this. I wanted to do a video on this because it was one of my major plays because it was recommended by someone that really knows what they're talking about. And I did re deep research on it because I wanted to create a video. And during this research, it actually opened my eyes and realized why it's so important to be in this project, at least for me. Like I said, I, I'm not an investment advisor. I can't legally tell you, give you financial advice. But for example, the video Omniverse is streaming to the Apple Vision Pro, or, or they're about to do that, um, which is game changing. I spoke about the collaboration between Apple and Render a little earlier in this video, right? So you've already heard about that. Um, all the breadcrumbs from these industry giants are all leading back to Render. So everything's going back to Render. And that makes it such a just such a crazy, like a life-changing type of opportunity. The scope of this project is way beyond what most people can relate to when they think about crypto in general. And that's why I love making these videos because I, I'm just hoping if I could just change a few lives by putting this kind of information out there and, and, and I'm happy to do it. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I was able to, ch you know, help you point you in the right direction and make you some extra um, uh, cheddar basically over the over this bull run. Um, so do you see how exciting and life-changing this company is? This company is on the cutting edge of what every crypto is capable of right now. So, you know, different cryptos are going to have different uh, use cases and some of them are going to go up. But this is, uh, this is a, a, a nice project to be involved with because it's diversity, right? You don't want all your eggs in one basket. Even if you own Bitcoin and Ethereum, I think you should be involved in some major um, projects that have life-changing opportunity. I think this is one of them. Um, Manish... Sanani, which is the director of project development and um, ML infrastructure, ML stands for machine learning, uh, for, for Google Cloud, he said bringing A2, which basically means artificial intelligence 2.0, instances to render is a game changer um, for ultra high, ultra high resolution production. Machine learning is um, augmented rendering workflows and next generation immersive media formats. So what he's basically saying is that that um, Render offers a, a artificial intelligence solution um, that is capable of onboarding in, into high resolution uh, production. So that's basically what he's saying, and it's the best solution in the world. Or, 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 or he wouldn't be talking so highly about it. So you have to you have to think about what would you rather bet on? Would you what horse in the race would you rather bet on? The one that's already known to be the best in the world, or one that's might be coming up or could have potential in five years? You see what I'm saying? So so that was the point I was trying to get across. Let me give you another testimonial from Microsoft. His name's uh, Mark Miller. He's a senior director for media entertainment at Microsoft Azure. Um, he basically said that they're thrilled to be part of a toy's new render network and deliver enterprise level hybrid GPU cloud rendering with Microsoft Azure and NVIDIA GPU nodes. So, so I, I don't know if NVIDIA was the one that came out with that M4 chip, but it kind of sounds like they do because they're talking about NVIDIA GPU nodes. And NVIDIA is known to make some of the best chips in the world, along with some Taiwan Semiconductor. You might want to check out that company too. That's another beast of a company. Uh, I think it's called TSM, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing. Um, so GPU cloud rendering is transforming the media and entertainment industry, generating new production efficiencies that help artists to, to push the boundaries of creativity. Um, so, so GPU cloud rendering ha has a massive, massive use in, in the future 
not just in the next four years, but as time goes on. And that's why some of these big companies are, are jumping on it um, because they know it's a smart play and uh, you know going forward. Um, so one of the things I also I wanted to say about a toy is they're a very well they're very well known known in the rendering space. Um, they were one of the very first to bring a rendering application to the market. I believe the price of render could easily reach three hundred dollars by uh, twenty thirty, which is about a thirty x, based on its legitimacy and real world case studies. This is a go plus. You're looking at the just the appreciation in crypto alone by twenty thirty could could be you know fifteen to twenty trillion dollar market cap easy. And, and that, that would give this project a 15, 20x just off, just off riding the crypto wave, but then give them another 15, 20x, which would be, you know, an easy 30. I mean, I'm being conservative, but, you know, I think, I think 30, you know, a lot of, I try to be conservative because I don't want to get your hopes too high, but this, it could be more than 30, but it could be at least 30. Um, it's a golden opportunity in a project where you could use leverage, uh, leverage this multi-cycle compounding plan I feel this coin could give you a 30x uh, return by 2030. Now, what a lot of people will say is, you know, buy it now before the bull and then sell before the bear in 2026 when, when the market is expected to dip and then rebuy it in 2028. Um, I've heard that theory before, but I'm not going to do that because I'm using a crypto bot called The Plan. Um, I'm a member of that and, and I'm going to be trading on it the entire time. So I'm not going to really want to sell it. Um, if I wasn't selling it, I can't say whether that's a good idea or not for you. That's kind of a personal choice. But if you're going to go in this on multi cycles, and you know, you could just leave it there um, if you don't really need the money. Um, it doesn't, you know, if you're going to get a 30x on something by, uh, you know, in, in five or six years, um, it might not be a bad idea just to leave it there. But that's just my opinion. Um, so I, like I said, but, but by 2028, uh, right now we're at 2024, so I, it could easily be $150 by 2028. And right now it's at just, just, just under 11. So if you compound these profits into the next cycle, you can get up to $300 per token by 2030, like I mentioned before. So that, so um, right now I own about two, 2,200 in USD in render. I have a link below the, in the description of this video that actually sends you to the website where you can see what I got going on. I mean, you can actually look at, you know, how much I have. It's, it's in the form of a screenshot on the page I'm going to send you to below in the link below in the description. Um, so just to let you know right now, I don't, even though I own $2,200, I want to own at least 3000 of it. So what I'm going to do when I get my next, I'm a, I'm a disabled American veteran and I get some money every month for my disability and I can, afford anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a month to D DCA or dollar cost average into something. And I think my DCA allocations for the month of June, because this is how strongly I feel about this coin, um, I feel that I'm going to put about 1000 into that. So instead of a $2,200 balance, it'll be a $3,000 balance. I mean, I'm pretty, if you take a look at that page you know, below the description, you're going to see I'm very evenly allocated into about 21 different um, coins or whatever um, at this time. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm going to open up a new coin or just keep DC into my current projects. That's probably the way I'm going to go. I don't really know yet. Um, it, it, I'm kind of an impulsive person when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, but the difference between me now and I was a, more of a DGen back in 2018 and bought a bunch of crap projects, but you live and learn, right? Um, but I did have a couple successes back in 2018 when I first got my first Bitcoin. It was $3,600 and that was a successful purchase and that made up for all my bad purchases um, because I, I plan on hodling that for another eight years and then I'll give myself maybe, you know, whatever I need per year that I can't come up with on my own. Um, I'll, I'll just give myself, or maybe I'll just say, I'll give myself 4% a year or something like that. And that's one little bit of advice I want to give you is, is if you're, if you have 30,000 or more to invest in crypto right now and, and you expect to have seven figures um, in about eight years, um, because you just do multi-cycle compounding because over the next two cycles, it, it could, you know, the entire crypto market could easily go up 20x. So if you think you're going to make a million dollars by the end of, uh, what is it, 2024, 2032, right? Um, 
I'll be about 63 by then. So take, take a certain percentage out every, you could just do it once a year. You could just take out 4% a year of, of your entire portfolio balance to retire on. Or you might just want to leave it to your, your aunt, your, you know, your siblings or your, you know, your kids or whatever. You could do that too. Um, but that's how I plan on doing it. I plan on being active in the crypto market for eight years, trying to build up as big of a stack as I can. And then when I'm 63, get, just give myself um, maybe four to 6% a year. I haven't really decided on the amount yet. It just depends what I need. If I don't really need it that much, I might not even give myself 4%. It just depends. I, I'm, I'm more than likely I'm going to be in crypto the rest of my life. Um, and if something happens to me, I'll figure out a, a, a good boots on the ground organization to give it to. Um, so that's my plan. Um, that's about all I have for this video. Um, I'm going to be in touch with another play that I'm in in the next two to three days. So uh, stay tuned and uh, peace out and uh, have a great rest of the weekend and we will talk soon. Thank you. Bye.